Hi, I'm Gautam. I'm a founder and I used to use Lucid Chart before and I switched over to Mira for more reviews like this. Click the link below. So initially we were using Mira, uh, Lucid Chart for more for diagramming, whiteboarding, brainstorming around and also a lot of prototyping because we wanted to rapid prototype because in a changing environment, we get a lot of feedback from our customers and they want a few different elements to be added, a few workflows to be changed and the customer journey keeps on changing. So yeah. That's, that's more of a use case both for Miro and Lucidchart. Miro is best for online whiteboarding and it's got a lot of templates, especially templates for startups and especially for somebody who has no idea how diagramming or whiteboarding works. Miro has got a lot of like, you know, training community around what that is specific to startups and also goes up till enterprise levels. And Miro has something called Miro Universe, which is where you get pretty much every template you require from the day you've got the Eureka moment until you have like 100,000 customers using your platform every single day. It's got everything in terms of support, templates, elements, which is very collaborative. And the best part of Miro is you can embed Miro boards into pretty much any software. It embeds pretty well, like into from, from a website to a knowledge management system to a wiki to a CMS. Lucidchart was also pretty well as well. We really started with Lucidchart because mm -hmm. we weren't aware of Miro then. So Lucidchart gives us, like it, it, it works more for businesses which are very big and at the very good at enterprise level because most of the diagrams what you get in Lucidchart are pretty complex. And for our particular use case, Lucidchart wasn't a right thing until we discovered Mira. And then once we discovered Mira, we switched to Mira. It's pretty straightforward to sign up to both of these programs or platforms or softwares. Like, you know, everything's available online. It's more of a subscription business model. And then you can you can start as a free user for both and based on your use case and access to templates and at the same time access to multiple community. Uh, you can you can upgrade yourself to a paid plan. One of the big things with Mira is if you're a startup, Mira provides up to 1,000 US dollars in credit. So like if you're a solo entrepreneur like me or if you're a team of less than five people, that would give you a runway for up till next three years. So that would be a huge, like, you know, it's a pro pro point, like, you know, for using Mira. Yeah, for software like this, it's it's how collaborative they are at the same time, how intuitive they are, because like you work with a lot of people on these softwares and it's a lot about ideation. It's a lot about bringing the best out. You both from a customer perspective, from an operations perspective and a product perspective, as long as the product is very intuitive to use, the UI UX is pretty good and pretty straightforward and also access to a global talent community where there's a lot of knowledge exchange. People are coming up with multiple use cases for Miro or Lucidchart. That would be a one best thing what we would look after. At the same time, the, you know, the capabilities to collaborate and integrate are also automate. So Miro pretty much supports most of the integrations. Like for our business, we use Notion. So like for our like you know internal management, like you know talking to our team at the same time, publishing content to our customers as well. So Miro pretty much integrates fantastically as native as Notion. So that's one of the big things what we definitely look into: integratability and embeddability.